Hey everyone, Ruth Hamblin here, and welcome back to my vlog. All right, so we got back from a road trip last night, and I was just sitting here in my apartment, relaxing, enjoying myself. And I realized that it is less than two weeks away from Christmas. Oh my goodness. Like what? First of all, hello, what is wrong with this scene? There is something wrong. There is not a single Christmas decoration in my house. And these fairy lights don't count because these are year round type of decorations. So anyways, last night I made the decision that today I am going to decorate my apartment and try and get myself here into the Christmas spirit. So we've got a big task today here, folks. All right, so the first step in Operation Deck the Halls is to actually get some Christmas decorations. So I asked our translator last night where a good place to find some decent Christmas decorations around here might be. And she recommended a little place just down the street from me called Fix Price, which is basically like a super cheap department store that has a little bit of everything, which sounds right up my alley. So let's go check that out. The sun hasn't quite risen here it's just quarter after 9 a.m in the morning and it's like not super chilly either it's solid minus seven only wearing a single layer of pants so that's a pretty bold statement by me but i guess my body's starting to acclimate to the cold or i'm gonna have frozen legs in 10 minutes i'll keep you posted on that one It is so slippery out right now because it's basically just frozen ice covered with like powdery snow. Ooh, try not to fall on my butt here. First thing I see is a $2 Christmas tree. We're off to a great start here. Not sure what color bulbs to go for. Should I do gold? or silver. So many options. I went for gold and red. Don't think you can really go wrong with that. I just changed to gold and blue, so let's just commit. Oh no, there's more ornaments. This is not going well. Well, I would say it was mission success. Now let's get home and decorate. <laughs> one other quick stop on my way home and got some Christmassy snacks plus the stuff to make some hot apple cider. So before we get decorating, let's throw that together. Now we decorate. I'm very curious as to how this tree is gonna look. I mean, for $2, nothing's guaranteed. And we have ourselves a tree, not too shabby, could be worse. Let's see what some garland and some ornaments can do to help this little fella live its full Christmas potential. All right, so in my foresighted thinking about this being a Charlie Brown tree, seeing as it was $2, the odds were very high. I got some green garland thinking that maybe it could just like fluff it up and give it the illusion of fake branches, so let's see how that goes. I'm actually quite pleased with how that turned out. Charlie Brown Christmas tree hack. And now for the lights. To put these tiny little pieces of thread through my bulbs. Oh shoot, the cider. Oh, you can smell it. it smells good. Woo. Uh -huh. I think we're okay there. Oh my goodness. This smells amazing. It smells like Christmas. Let's turn you down. And get back to the tree. Hey Siri. How do you say Christmas tree in Russian? I can't translate into Russian yet. You're useless. Google it is. Рождественская ёлка. Рождественская ёлка. 
I don't even. Oh shoot. Rajdistinska Yolka. Rajdistinska Yolka. Well, that was probably butchering it. There's, it's so hard to say most words in Russian. Let me know how I did. If any of you are from Russia, grade that on one to 10. <laughs> probably like a solid two. But anyways, let's get back to decorating the Rajdistinstilyoka. It's looking so beautiful. And now it is time for the star. Not sure if it's gonna actually stay up there or look good. <laughs> We're gonna see. A little switch here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> We've got a disco star. We might just leave that off there. Let it be. So, let's make it a little sturdier. Please, still, oh, it's not looking good. Oh, we lost an arm. Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I think we're just gonna go for no star. First of all, that's an issue. And also it literally will not stay up on this tree. So we might just have a little star somewhere, somewhere else, maybe in the garbage. That would be a good spot for it. <laughs> and my tree top will be au naturel. Almost forgot that I got these little snowflakes too. So I better put those on my tree. Can't forget. You know what? I'm very pleased at how this little, little fella turned out. It's already warming my heart. Look at that. It's an absolute masterpiece. To top it off, I got some more snowflakes and this other string of white, maybe blue lights, I'm not quite sure, but Gonna hang all my little snowflakes on it. So I'm a little bit of wall, just for, you know, just a little extra. You can never have too many twinkle lights. That's just a given. My whole apartment smells like cloves and cinnamon at this point, and it is absolutely amazing. It is practically time for the big light up. So let's get our snacks ready. Then we turn on some Christmas music. Then we turn off all the lights. And then you wrap yourself in a blanket with a mug of hot apple cider. Oh, that's so good. And sit here and bask in the beauty of your new Christmas tree. Christmas is actually gonna look a little bit different for me this year. I did have the opportunity to go home if I wanted to, which I mean, not that I didn't want to, but it's like 48 hours of travel. Cause not only is getting from Siberia to like Western Canada hard, and because my hometown is so small, the flight options to it are very limited. And so you usually end up with an overnight layover and just ends up being super long. So I chose to not go home because I didn't want to be traveling for half of my entire break. And so I've actually decided to take a solo trip to Thailand. And so I'm excited for that. It's gonna be different. Um, this will be my first Christmas like totally solo. I mean, my two Christmases where I was away from my family in Australia, I at least like was with adopted families. Like my first year in Perth, both my coach and Ash Grant's family totally welcomed me with open arms. And then in Adelaide, me and Colleen, my roommate, were up in Sydney and Lauren Nicholson invited us over to her family's Christmas. So it kind of was always surrounded by family, but this year is gonna be totally different. So it'll be interesting, but it'll be an adventure. And I'm so excited to check out a new country, catch some sun rays. Hopefully I can get like one degree less white. That would be a Christmas present in itself but have about another week and a half here in Russia before I head to Thailand. So very excited to bask in the glory of my Christmas tree here. So fun to just kind of get in the Christmas spirit and have some treats and decorate and let myself feel festive. But anyways, thanks so much for following along. I hope you guys are starting to get into the Christmas spirit yourselves and decorating and feeling festive and getting to experience all the joy and love and generosity that comes with that. Certainly a wonderful time of year. Would definitely recommend adding some homemade spiced apple cider to whatever Christmas plans you may have going on already. 
because it is so good. But anyways, that's all I got for today, folks. I'll see you next time. A little bit frosty, but if I walk fast enough, it's okay. So we're just gonna power walk all the way there.